Hope everybody's well. Uh, Fight for out that. Who knows? Three pages to everybody. Got the agenda. <coughs> minutes, in case you didn't remember. And I, I wrote some recommendations on the last page. We'll get to that here in a second. Eight. All right. Uh, on the minutes, yeah. everybody have a, had a chance to look at the minutes Seven, of May 21st? Yep. I'll move it. Second. Motion by uh, Edward. Second. Seconded by Dr. Heller. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, unanimous. All right, before we get into the subcommittee, uh, I certainly want to thank uh, Eddie, uh, Dr. Heller, and the chief for working with uh, Rick Villani on the subcommittee on the, on the request for proposals for the uh, police search services. Did a great job. And uh, I just noticed a couple of things I'd just like to bring out. Okay. On the information that I passed out, page three, okay? Uh, let me see. All right. If you look at the Milford request for proposal, executive search, police chief know. services, yeah, you have background. Mm -hmm. Then you have the first paragraph of Tommy Milford, the second paragraph. Chief, you got it? I, I don't have the document itself. It wasn't attached to mine. No, not the document. I, just the stuff oh, I apologize. Passed. Okay, so your summary? Yeah, so there's, on the request for proposal, Sure. it has the background, Town and Milford, and yeah. then the second paragraph, the last sentence says, success will result in the hiring of a qualified candidate within four or six months from advertising the position. I think for clarity purposes and accuracy, what I uh, recommend is that we put down success will result in the police chief selection committee submitting three to five highly qualified candidates to the Milford Board of Selectmen within four to six months. I, yeah, no, Chief, well, your opinion. No, respectfully, I, I don't think you should lock yourself into no, a time wasn't period. Just a t it wasn't a time period. It was the, uh, the end thing, I think. Chief, what it says... On the, on the yeah. proposal, right? Sure. It said, Sorry, success will result in the hiring of a qualified candidate within four or f six months from advertising the position. First of all, we're only going to come up with three to five candidates to be submitted on, right? We're not going to hire anybody within four or six. So that's why, I don't know, I, I just read it the other day and I thought, this would be a lot clearer if the committee agrees, you know? It's taking the same timeline. Yeah. The timeline's not changing. It's just changing it to, all oh, we're selecting it, narrowing it down as the candidates, not right. the hiring. Not hiring. Right. Yeah. Right. Removing the hiring I, I, case. I agree, I agree with you. Not hiring. Yeah. We're yeah. correct. Yeah. And I, 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 agree, I agree with you, your premise. I, I just, I think if you start to set time periods such as that, they, they, yeah. they might be unrealistic um, for a couple reasons. One, as we discussed, Ed and, and Doc at the... Uh, yeah. Dr. Heller at the subcommittee, you know, we're Tuesday now, so by the time we're going to hit the central registry, it would be next Tuesday, it would be next Tuesday, and then it's not going to make it in, as you know, until the following Wednesday or the Wednesday after that, so then you're 30 days beyond that. I, I just... How about if we take your, your point, I, there's two ways you could do this. Just take Dino's thing right up to the board of selectmen, period, and then take out the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That way we're it we're we're passing it to them and then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Motion by Scott, seconded by uh, Dick. So, Chris, on what I have, success will result in the police chief selection committee submitting three to five highly qualified candidates to the Milford board of selectmen. Okay. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Meeting with uh, Dr. Heller and the chief and myself and what to call it. The chief added some valuable stuff, but we hadn't referenced we hadn't referenced the bylaw about the different candidates or whatever. The original draft that the town attorney did and Rick didn't reference the bylaw and the chief had the bylaw and reminded us of that. So that steered us at least in the right direction rather than yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Then the other thing I had on the on the uh, on the proposal that I didn't pass out tonight, you have that from uh, an email that I sent out. On the proposal, and whatever we decide, Rick Villani will do for us, you know? So like on this one, it says, uh, on page three, 
of the uh, thing you don't have. Proposals from invited participants are due with the Office of the Administrator by 2.30, Wednesday, June. So I think we have to decide do we want to have it posted for 21 days, 28 days, 30 days, whatever the committee decides. Yes, you have the central registry, I believe, when we discussed with town council, you're looking at a 30-day window there. Okay. Yeah. So it would be 30 days, regardless of the day of the week, but it would be 30 days from, well, 30 business, you know, a business day um, from the point where we actually get in the central registry yeah. is where we're getting bound up. Okay. Because the, the, we, we had a lengthy discussion among us that we, we don't want to have different dates out there no. because then you have someone that's responding based upon an advertisement, someone in the central registry, and, and oh, that's the mandatory date. That's correct. The correct. So that's okay. guide All right. So I'll tell Rick 30 days. Okay. From from the central registry from date. Central registry. Yeah. yeah. And he can determine that. He'll know. They'll tell him when they're going to put it in. Yeah. Before he submits to them. Okay. The other thing is. Um, you want a motion on that? Or? Uh, I think we're all in agreement. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Then the other thing I had was. Okay. On page. The other thing was what Rick does when you, let's say, post it for 30 days, he asks like, a, you know, eight days before or 10 days before that if anybody who's going to propose, send them a proposal, if they have any questions, they can call or email the administrator and he'll, you know, answer those questions. So I'll leave it up to Rick, uh, you know, when he should do that in the central register, okay? Yeah, clarity questions, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, and then uh, let me see. On page four of the proposal, a small thing. It said on the selection process, it says invitees submitting proposals will be interviewed by the police chief selection committee at town hall. They put down it'll be at the senior center to make it consistent, okay? And to be determined whenever that is. Okay, that's the only thing I had. And I know that uh, Dr. Heller, the chief, and Ed worked very closely with uh, Rick Villani did a great job. So if we could just make a motion to accept the entire thing and I'll tell Rick tomorrow. Motion by the Chief, seconded by Jimmy Heron. Any discussion that we go with this, Jim? I mean, Chris, I'll talk to Rick about these dates tomorrow, okay? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, just, to, you know, as much as the three of us were involved, um, you know, Rick Villani and uh, Town Council Charles Bodie were extremely helpful. And, and literally turned around based on our suggestions yeah. to us. I, I, I drove from town hall to my office and I already had the email yeah. from yeah. Charles Bodie yeah. w with the changes that we had suggested, uh, you know, so and turned it right back to him five minutes later. So uh, they did yeoman's work in pulling all that together. And, you know, Steve, uh, Steve, and, and both of them said to me that if you said nice words about them, they said, hey, it, we've worked with a lot of subcommittees. It's been a pleasure to work with that subcommittee. Dr. Heller, Tom, and, uh, and Ed, so thank you. Did they include that? No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to you. Joe, just real quickly, we, uh, we accepted the minutes. You have a packet that I put in front of you, uh, the minutes, and then we started. What happened was, uh, you know, the uh, chief... Dr. Heller and Ed met with Rick Bellani, went over the proposal for the uh, search firm. So they come up with everything, and I just added a few simple things tonight, and uh, it was unanimous. So, uh, so, so I think with any luck, the uh, it should be posted in the central register and all that combines whatever. Probably, if not next week, the week after in June, and it'll be for 21 days, <laughs> no, 30 days. Yeah. And then after that, uh, I'll set up a little subcommittee to meet with Rick when the proposals come in so that everything is done open mm -hmm. and the envelopes, the proposals are open. And, uh, and then the committee will have to uh, do the interviews, rate all the proposals, and then the top firm, then we do negotiations with that company. So I don't think there'll be a lot of, Chief, I don't think there'll be a lot of companies 
providing proposals. Huh? My sense is probably three the most. Um, likely the two, well, mm -hmm. you have the MMA, yeah. you know, their component that does it. You have uh, Badge that other firm, Badge Quest, definitely will put in. And yeah. then you have the other firm that they, they moved from Massachusetts, the one we've already discussed. I, I, their name escapes me. Yeah. Dr. Hell has raised their name. Yeah, yeah Nero. So my, my sense is three, max four. Because uh, I can't see a firm from California bidding out here, you know. It's not, it's cost prohibitive for them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing assessments, then is, yeah, now you have to fly in five assessors. Yeah. So I think uh, we've had tremendous movement. We're going in the right direction. And now, you know, the next step is to place it in the register for 30 days. Then we'll see what happens. And... I think the next meetings will be de de to be determined based on the information we get that we can set up a meeting and all that, you know? Okay. Other business, uh, anything on the other, other business? Correspondence, there's been no correspondence. Whatever correspondence I, I received, uh, I've only received one letter uh, that was three or four meetings ago and I gave everyone a copy. And the, ne and the next meeting is to uh, be determined. So what I'll do is I'll provide all the information to Rick Polani. I think he's out tomorrow, on Thursday. And then uh, when he has the dates and all that, I'll let the committee members know. And uh, and then we'll set up a meeting as soon as we can when it's appropriate. Okay, any other questions? M motion to adjourn Second. by Dr. Heller. Seconded by uh, Scott. All the, any discussion, all in favor? Unanimous.